Hello, and welcome to NNC Productions. Welcome to NNC Productions. The weather today will be in the low 70s. Wind will make it colder, but... We have just been informed that President Lincoln has been assassinated. This is a dark moment for our country. Our suspects include Willow Sally Walker and John Wilkes Booth, who were found at the scene of the crime, the Ford Theater. Mr. and Mrs. Lincoln were enjoying a play when Mr. Lincoln was shot. We will certainly remember this day in history. Here with us today, Miss Mary Todd Lincoln to, to discuss the manner of the subject. <laughs> Miss Lincoln, what do you have to say on this subject? My husband is dead. He was, he was just shot by a person in the knee. Today we're going to honor the president by giving some background information on his life. He was born in, on February 12, 1809 in Hodgenville, Kentucky. His family was poor and lived in a log cabin. His parents were Tom and Nancy Hanks Lincoln. Later in his life, he became a lawyer in Illinois, even though he was mostly self-educated. He served in the Illinois House of Representatives from 1834 to 1846 and was elected to the United States House of Representatives in 1846. He was elected president in 1860, following the Civil War. His wife was Mary Todd Lincoln, and he had four children, Robert Todd Lincoln, Edward Baker Lincoln, Willie Lincoln, and Tad Lincoln. Now we'll look at an important battle closely watched by President Lincoln. Thanks, Sophia. The Battle of Gettysburg was one of the bloodiest in U.S. history. It took place in southern Pennsylvania and lasted from July 1st to July 3rd, 1863. On the first day at 7.30 a.m., the first shot was fired by Marcellus Jones. A long day of fighting continued from that time. On day two, General George Meade brought 80,000 men to fight. The battle line was nearly six miles long and spread from Cemetery Hill to Little Round Top. On July 3rd, the battle was still raging strong. Finally, though, the Confederacy retreated, securing another northern victory. Another key event in Abraham Lincoln's life was the Emancipation Proclamation. Issued January 1st, 1863, this document proclaimed that all slaves in the Confederacy were now and forever free. This was a turning point in the Civil War because up until then, both sides had been mostly focusing on states' rights. After the Emancipation Proclamation was put into action, over 200,000 African Americans joined the Union Army. This was probably the boost the North needed to win one of the bloodiest battles in U.S. history. It is thanks to President Lincoln that slavery is now abolished. Thank you, Julia. Now we all know that after the battle, a very important speech was delivered by Mr. Lincoln himself. This was the Gettysburg Address. The President spoke about the North's fight for, for national freedom, and also about the lives they had lost in the single raging Civil War. Now for a clip of the famous speech. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Thank you, Mr. President, and you will be remembered. It's okay, I'm okay. And this has been another broadcast of NNC Production. Bluebird! Now for a reenaction of the Battle of Gettysburg. <laughs> Tell me, you have to ask me the question. So, what do you have to say about this? Oh, okay. Oh, were you doing the whole like this is my boyfriend? Okay. <laughs> Four score and seven years. And what's Philadelphia? Oh